Hi, I'm Denise and welcome to Travels in My Chair. Thanks for joining me today, kids, because I'm going to tell you a story on the mysterious case of the missing mouse trap. One day, Grandpa went out to our travel van and the mouse trap that he put in there the day before was gone. It disappeared, we don't know how, and he decided to look for it. And he looked under the bed. Where else would he look? Um, in the and, yes, and in the cupboards. He looked yeah. all around outside and he absolutely could not find that mouse trap. It was very perplexing. And also, there was no rodent body parts anywhere. And he looked around the garden shed, but nothing. Couldn't find hide nor hair of the missing mouse trap. Alan, you look really perplexed. What's wrong? I don't know. The mouse trap has disappeared. How can a little mouse drag that size of a trap through a little hole that he's managed to find in the side of the travel van. I just don't understand it. When he went out to the van one day and he found toilet paper that was strung from one end of the van to the other, and even through the DVD player, he was more than perplexed at this stage. Now he was getting angry. He took the DVD player out of the vehicle and he looked inside the front compartment of the van and in the very corner he found a little nest of toilet paper and an old rag wherever that came from, don't know. But now we're beginning to wonder, what is going on? We were sitting outside on the deck and enjoying the sun, and this little tiny squirrel came very brazenly up onto the deck, climbed onto the back of the lawn chair, and started chattering away. It gave us pause. We began to wonder if perhaps our problematic rodent was indeed a squirrel. But one day, Alan looked outside to see said squirrel trying to pull the dog cushion off the deck. And he realized that our new little friend was a lot tougher than that we had anticipated. The little grandkids called him Theodore Alvin. Grandpa Allen and our granddaughter went down to Theodore Alvin's tree. Well, we thought that if we occasionally gave him a tasty treat by his tree, that maybe then he would stay away from our vehicles. By now, he was big and beautiful and, of course, courtesy of us, well-fed. And he is very entertaining. He knows that he's probably in a safe zone. And really, I guess he is. One night, at about two or three in the morning, the dog was going wild. Alan tried to look into the yard, but all he could see was garbage. He realized that he hadn't latched. We have a bear-proof 
steel refuse container. And I guess over the night we had a bear. Alan was cleaning up the garbage and he had also managed to move the steel garbage holder a little bit. And when Alan looked behind, he found, ta-da, the missing mouse trap. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember, thumbs up if you like, subscribe, comments always welcome, and we'll see you next time. Welcome to 2021.